Hey everybody, Ann here, sitting inside the tiny house, having my coffee. It's going to be a scorcher today, so yeah, I definitely got to get the air conditioner in the window. I've got so many other things to do. Ugh, I'm moving kind of slow this morning, my joints are barking at me, so I've taken some ibuprofen. Thank you, Miss Donna. And I'm just waiting for it to kick in so I can go out and get some stuff done. It's a good day to do some laundry. I need two hands to do this. <laughs> it is hot outside. I'm, I'm going to try not to do that too much because, you know, it's cold in the winter. It's hot in the summer. Yeah. Papa's down there taking a little nap. Um, it's like 85, 86 outside. I don't know. It's like 81 inside. But I've got just the fan going, and it's staying nice and cool in here. So, uh, yeah. Anyhow, um... So, oh, I was out there in the chicken yard, and one of the chickens caught something really, really weird. And then I let them out, and I let them free range, and then they caught another thing, so basically mystery solved. Is it chicken? Oh my gosh, you gobbled it up. They had something in... I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was a skink or... A snake! Dang it! Why don't I ever catch this on film? Oh my gosh, it was the weirdest looking thing ever. <sighs> what is it? What? <sighs> I don't know what it was. Maybe it was a frog. Maybe they just tore it up and... I don't know. Weird! Oh, it's a frog. <laughs> Come on, Mama. Go get your meal. Don't let this one steal it from you. Look, it. they're still working on it. Yeah, definitely a frog. I think that's what the other one was, too. <laughs> Go give it back to Mama. She's the one who got it. Goodness. I think maybe Mama just got tired of trying to eat it. <laughs> Somebody's going to get it. <laughs> Alright. So now at least we know what it is. It's a frog. God. Yeah, that other one was definitely a frog. That is just something else. I don't know. You think she's going to eat it all? Go for it, Patsy. Uh-oh. Here come the Easter acres. that are still growing out back their back feathers. Let's see what they do. Patsy's not having any of it. She's she's gonna take off. She gobbled it down whole. Oh my goodness. I mean almost whole. It, it may have been less a few limbs. <laughs> I hate this area back here. It looks so junky. Yep, it's gone. Good girl, Patsy. I need to get this out, but you know what? I think I need to take the outside part out first. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do right now. Got my laundry done and hung up, and that was a chore, let me tell you. I mean, I gotta haul water, and I gotta get it up into that big tub, wash everything by hand with my little plunger, drain it, rinse it, ring it, uh, ring it, rinse it, ring it again, and then hang it up. But it's all clean and it will be dry by the end of today. I'm going to take this down today. And you know what? I have carpenter bees all over the place. They've hit this spot underneath, so I'm going to check underneath of there and see if there's like sawdust on the ground. Um, because that means they've dug a hole. And I mean, there are just a ton of them flying around this year. So I'm going to have to figure out what to do about that. 
I got it down and the window is closed. I do have a screen frame for this, but I don't have any screen for it. And plus, the sun is beating down on this side of the tiny house right now, so if I don't keep this curtain closed, it's just going to make this area feel hotter. So I got me my lovely curtains up. Yep. And I don't know if I'll put the air conditioner in here today, maybe tomorrow, because I think I'll do all right with the fan. I think it's going to be over 90 tomorrow, though, so I may need to fire up the air conditioner. Just do your best. I was out watering today, and I noticed something pretty cool. Two new things are coming up. That is the patty pan squash. One, two, three, and four. I planted several seeds, so there's more than one sprouting up. I don't even know if I'll keep them in all four locations, but certainly not more than one in each location. So, the patty pan squash is coming, and these beans are growing pretty quickly. Look at this. Look at this already. Awesome. Yeah, I'll thin it down to the strongest plant, whichever one looks best. And I noticed that the sugar snap peas are coming up. Right there. And right there. It's going to be interesting to see how they grow and whether they produce because it's getting hot. It was not this hot last year at this time. It was not. But, as you can see, the corn is growing. Those two big 34 gallon water, well, trash, ba uh, trash bins um, were on the other side of the tiny house. Well, I've emptied them all out and watered the plants, put whatever else was left in there, and I'm going to scrub those out really, really well. And the only reason why I had them on the other side of the tiny house, which is kind of inconvenient actually because there's nothing over there that I use them for, um, was because of algae formation. They get less sun over there, but they're going to get algae whether or not. So um, I'm going to put one right here and so underneath the eaves of the roof. And I'm going to put another one right here, and this will be a good time for me to put the little water spout that I've got in the second one. One of them has it, the other doesn't. So I'll have all of my water catchment on this side, which will be great. And yeah, I do have buckets. Some of these have holes in them because I planted in them. Um, but I've got several others that don't have holes in them that will capture water as well. And then what I do is I just empty them out into the other bigger bins that have a screen over the top um, if they're not full or use them first to water. So, whew, man, it is hot. So the only thing that hasn't come up yet out of these garden beds that I planted is the yellow summer squash, and that's supposed to be in that bed right there. But I'm betting, I am betting, maybe even later on today, certainly tomorrow, I bet I'm going to see some of them coming up. Anyhow, i got to go have a cold beverage and chill out for just a little bit. Holy moly! I forgot I, I planted bush beans in here. Yeah! There's some coming up there, some coming up there. Oh, another one there. I guess there's one more here. Yeah, these are just bush beans. And uh, so I don't know if I can grow them all in this pot, but... That's encouraging. So much is coming up. A lesson I've learned about these little buckets. Um, first of all, tomato plants, <laughs> they don't like to have like their roots all wet all the time. So at someone's suggestion, I had drilled holes in the side. That's not good for tomato plants. Um, drill holes in the bottom so it can drain out. But if you put the pot directly on the clay, it just sinks in and nothing, nothing. <laughs> drains out of it. So I've kind of elevated it off of that and I've done the same thing, whoops, I've done the same thing this, with this one so that this can actually drain so that the water just doesn't accumulate at the bottom and hopefully this year that'll make things better. I don't know how well you can see that but there's a carpenter bee up there chewing into my wood, boring in. <laughs> so, as much as I love bees, you can hear it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's got to go. Look at that. 
Gosh, I wish you guys could see better. I don't know if you can see it, but that little hole up there, that's what it did in just a few minutes. Goodness. See, there's the remnant sawdust. It had just gotten started, but I had to, to uh, you know, get rid of it because I cannot have this. I cannot have these bees drilling into my wood. 90 degrees inside the tiny house with the fan going a little too hot so yeah definitely tomorrow we're going to bring the air conditioner in and uh so i'll be able to keep cool at least part of the day anyhow nothing else is going on so that's all i got for you guys today see you in the next video Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.